what's up everybody and today i'm gonna talk about everything we know about jojo's bizarre adventure stone ocean so before we begin don't forget to like subscribe and click the bell notification icon to stay up to date with all my new videos let's get it Stone Ocean is the sixth part of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series. The fans have been anticipating its release for some time now, and we can confirm that the Stone Ocean story arc will be animated and will star I Faroz as Jolene. So stick around till the end to know everything you need to know about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Season 5, including the plot, storyline, new characters, release date, and so much more. The anime series is written and drawn by Hirohiko Araki. In each version, Araki changes the visual style of the manga it's based on. For example, the original version consisted of 17 volumes. Stone Ocean will succeed the Golden Wind arc in the series, and we can expect it to be followed by the Steel Ball Run arc in later editions. Now, the plot. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean, the fifth season of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, adopts the sixth story arc of the manga with the same name. The events of Stone Ocean take place in 2011. Jolene Cujo appears to be in a prison cell in Florida similar to her father Jotaro, but this time it's not of her own choice. She was arrested for a crime that she didn't commit and manipulated into agreeing to a longer sentence. Jolene is starting to lose hope and resigned to a dire fate as a prisoner of the Green Dolphin Street Jail. Despite all seeming lost, a gift from Jotaro ends up awakening her dormant abilities, manifesting into her stand, Stone Free. Now in possession of the power to change her fate, Jolene prepares to find an escape. However, she soon discovers that her imprisonment is merely a small part of a more sinister scheme, one that not only takes aim at her family, but has additional far-reaching effects. Not to mention, the mastermind is loitering in the very same facility, under the protection of a lineup of menacing stand users. Joined by unlikely friends to help her case, Jolene advances to put an end to their plans once and for all, clear her name, and get her life back. Now, let's talk about some of the major characters. The protagonist is Jolene Cujo, the current Jojo, and daughter of Jotaro Cujo, the protagonist of Stardust Crusaders. Jolene gets apprehended and sent to Green Dolphin Street Prison in Florida, that's where her unpredictable life becomes even more jeopardized. Armed with a strange pendant that gives her equally strange power, she's informed by Jotaro that she was framed by a pupil of their family's eternal rival, Dio Brando. Now headed for death in jail, Jolene has to figure out a way to escape and clear her name. The next character is Hermes Costello. Hermes Costello is a fellow prisoner. Unlike Jolene, this is not her first time behind bars. With her compassionate and cheerful personality, she gives Jolene hope and insights essential to her escape. Number three is Emporio Almino. Let me tell you that Emporio is a mysterious boy who wears a baseball cap. Somehow he is able to move around the prison easily despite the maximum security. He takes a collaborative stance towards Jolene, but his goals and motivations are unknown. The fourth main character is Weather Forecast. Strange name, I know, but Bazaar is the name of this anime. Weather Forecast is a mysterious character who resides in a secret room inside the prison. He is reserved and expressionless, but is also even-tempered and possesses excellent judgment and observational skills. Our fifth character is Narciso Anastasia. Narciso Anastasia is also someone we don't know much about other than the fact that she stays in a secret room with Weather. Our final main character of this series, Jotaro Kujo. Jotaro doesn't really need any introduction. He comes to rescue his daughter Jolene, who has been jailed on false charges. He is divorced from his wife, and it has been a long time since he and Jolene last met. Looks like Jotaro isn't going to win any Best Father of the Year awards, but then again, who really has a goat dad in anime? The story of Stone Ocean spans 158 chapters, assembled into volumes 64 to 80 of the Jump Comics trade paperbacks. As far as specific manga volumes are concerned, the anime is going to adapt the 17 volume story that ran in Shonen Jump from 2000 to 2003. Now, considering the length of part 6, we can only hope for approximately 30 to 40 episodes. In other words, we can expect Netflix to add in episodes in blocks of 5 or 10 or so over the course of a few months. The total number of episodes has not been confirmed yet, but the series will be available to Netflix users. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean will release its initial set of efforts in December 2021. Here, it is important to note that the new season will not arrive in its entirety at the end of this year. 
The information regarding how many episodes would be dropping is still under wraps. But based on the other anime series landing on Netflix, such as Pokemon Journeys, it could be around 13 episodes or so for the first arc of the series. Nobody knows the overall number of episodes in part 6 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but if the previous two seasons are any indication, it's probably going to be around 40 episodes give or take. While Stardust Crusader is consisted of around 48 episodes, it'll be exciting to see how many Stone Ocean will give us. Now, unlike its predecessors, the fifth season is heading straight to Netflix, with a difference. A listing for the anime on Netflix Media's landing page corroborated that the series will be releasing episodes on a monthly basis, so expect a small number of episodes every month starting from December. Unfortunately, we're not aware of anything following the first month. During the latest trailer that lays out the story of Jolene Cujo and her effort to escape from a high security prison, she joins forces with the stand known as Stone Free. From the looks of it, it seems as if this string-based character will have the name of Stone Ocean in the English dub. Furthermore, one of Jolene's friends known as Foo Fighters will simply be called FF in the English subtitles for the series as well as in the inevitable English dub. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God. Jolene's friends Weather Report and Narciso NSI will also be referred to as Weather Forecast and Narciso Anastasia, changed in order to avoid licensing issues in the English dub. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to share your thoughts and comment down below in the comment section what you think is going to happen in this arc of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. If you haven't already, click the like button, hit subscribe, and press the notification bell icon to stay up to date with all the new videos. Peace.